Grade 8 math number 15.2b, we've been talking about relative frequency and the tables. I'm going to explain why relative frequency tables have totals of 1 or 100%. We can check to see if we've correctly converted the frequencies to relative frequencies by making sure they equal 100% or 1. So for relative frequency, we've got just a group of people and 25 out of 100 prefer running for exercise, and 75 out of 100 prefer walking for exercise. You can see the 25 plus 75 equals 100, and the 100 denominator just slides across. 100 over 100, when the numerator and denominator are the same, it makes 1. See? So, if we have a two-way relative frequency table, this bottom corner is where we're going to see our 100% or our 1. So now, instead of just having people, we split it into age groups. People under 35, 20 out of 80 prefer running as an exercise, or 30 out of 80 prefer walking. And for over 35, 60 out of the 80 prefer running, and 24 out of the 80 prefer walking. See? And we total the 20 and the 30 to get 50, or the 6 and the 24 to get 30, and the 26 and the 54 to get the 80, and we can total them coming down this way, see? When we add 0 0.625 to 0 0.375, 3, we get 1, 1 1.000, 0, see? And when we add these coming down, we get 3.25 and 0 0.675, and when we add those together, we get 1.000, see? So, the sum of the relative frequencies as decimals is going to be 1.00. As a percent, they're going to be 100%. And as a fraction, it's going to be 100, 100 over 100 with the same numerator and denominator, which of course equals 1. And because we divide the frequency by the total, the total divided by itself will always equal 1. See? If you don't get the same numerator and denominator, then something's wrong. Okay? They've got to equal 1. It can't be 99 over 100 or something like that, okay? So that's how they should equal 1 or 100%. And we're going to talk more about these tables in the coming up video. We're going to do a frequency table in 15.2c. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.